Hey guys, welcome back to the game replay. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Transformers Fall of Cybertron Demo for the Sony PlayStation 3. Okay, I am real excited for this. Right now it is July 27th, 2012, and I have just obtained the Transformers Fall of Cybertron Demo, which was supposed to be officially released this coming Tuesday. That would be the 31st. But for those of us who pre-ordered the game at GameStop and who have a Power Up membership, well, we were given access to this a couple days prior, and I'm real excited for this. And as always, brought to you by High Moon Studios and Activision. You know, they put a lot of care into Transformers War for Cybertron, and I'm sure they did quite the same with this game. They know what to give us, Transformers fans, and I'm sure they're going to deliver. Being a big fan of Transformers War for Cybertron, I've been looking forward to this game for a long time, and I'm real glad it's here. Now, a couple things included in the demo here are the Exodus, Death from Above. Those are the uh, couple of campaign chapters we're going to be doing. Multiplayer settings, of course. I'm going to be checking all this out. Now, I already uh, programmed all the settings to my liking, so that's going to be set and done. Well, let's see, what should I check out first? Should I do some of the campaign chapters, or should I check out multiplayer? Well, I think we're going to be starting with multiplayer, folks. Yeah, I just can't wait to dive on in. Being one of those old War for Cybertron veterans who have not put the game down since it came out a couple years back, I've been playing, and I'm really interested to see in how different this game is, you know, what they changed, what they kept the same. And how I will be, you know, maybe I'll need to uh, kind of practice up. Maybe I won't be that great starting off. And now it's time to check this out. Anyway, ah, uh, the menu, it looks great. Pretty much uh, the same from the last game, find match. Oh, it looks like I can't select private match. Create character, can't look at Teletran 1, that's where all the uh, high scores are kept pretty much. Settings, probably the same old stuff, matchmaking. Oh, and I can't access the friends. Oh, that's kind of upsetting, I gotta tell you. <laughs> oh, well, that's okay. So let's see. Create character. And, well, here are four classes. Infiltrator, Destroyer, Titan, Scientist. Pretty much the same four classes in the previous game. You know, a couple of them are called something different. You know, I'm sure they all have uh, new abilities. Maybe a couple of them are the same, you know. Scout. You are Scout no more. You are now Infiltrator. All right. Good stuff. Oh, they look interesting. Look at that color scheme stuff. Yeah, the uh, High Moon Studios crew wanted to make it a big point to give us, the player, you know, a large variety of customization differences, you know, mix and match, do what we want with our characters. Yeah, as I thought the settings, same goes. All right, we don't have to fool around with that pretty much. So let's see, we have Team Deathmatch and Conquest modes for our for our demo option here. All right, that'll that'll be suitable for now. I say we check out Team Deathmatch first. Oh. Oh. I don't know if I'm jumping into a match right at the beginning or the middle of a match. I couldn't tell you right there. It flashed away, but you know, after this match, we'll we'll just see how it goes and we can check out a full match. It doesn't matter. So this is going to throw us into a battle, folks. And, well, we're going to shoot people and hopefully not die too much. I'm probably going to die some. I have not played this game yet. Now, if you're looking at this game with fresh eyes, just like me, you know, we're the same. If not, well, you can enjoy as I take on this game for the first time. So I'm going to select Infiltrator, the scout character, I guess you could call him too. <laughs> oh man, Bumblebee, is that you? You look like a crazy mutated robot. I don't know what's going on with you. All right, so right now I'm just checking out all the control system and setup. It seems great, you know. I'm pretty comfortable with that, you know. No double jump, though. No double jump. I was just jumping there. I could not do a double jump. That's just something that's going to be gone, just like Dark of the Moon. 
My cloaking. The infiltrator can cloak again. That's great. I just love my cloaking ability. <laughs> I'm dashing too. Yeah, every class, every character in the multiplayer can dash. That's kind of cool, huh? It's kind of weird. Oh! And I believe I just killed someone. Got a 50. Pretty sure that wasn't a an assist. I think that was a kill. Otherwise, it would tell me. Oh! Oh, and I'm down. Oh, oh, Bumblebee. He was on the ground. He was not having a good time there. Let's see. I'm an Autobot looking for Decepticons. Let's transform and roll out, baby. I'm not sure if this is the only map available to us in the uh, in the demo. Most likely. And that's fine, you know, we can familiarize ourselves with this. I can familiarize myself with the weapons, with the upgrades, with the power-ups, with my special abilities. Let's get this guy. Oh, he's running. He's dodging out of the way. Can I finish him off? Oh, I'm trying to hit him. Now oh, get back here. Oh, oh, I got him. Nice. Oh, I got to get out of here before I get... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Yeah, the health system is kind of a recharging system. If you look on the uh, bottom left there, you can see my health bar. And we'll see how that goes. I don't want to pass judgment on too soon. Oof. I'm done. I don't want to pass judgment on it too soon, you know. The difference is getting upgrades, health upgrades, weapons, that kind of stuff. You know, I'm like, what, five minutes into the game? I got to tell you, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Right, jump out this window. Come on. Get out here. There we go. Uh, let's see here. I'm searching. I'm stalking. Oh, wait. What do we got over here? Oh. Oh, it's too late. Yeah, I, uh, I entered at the end of a match, but that's okay. All right. Two kills, three deaths. And it shows your assists and total score, of course. Good stuff. All right. Ruining Autobots is Starscream's life. I I'm sorry, I thought this was intended for tips and helpful hints for us, you know, not just quotes from Starscream. Ah, but that's okay. All right, so 40 seconds until the next match starts. Array! Hmm. I think it might be the same area, folks. Yeah, maybe only one map in the demo, but that's, like I said, that's cool and understandable. Let's check out uh, our infiltrator real quick here. Now, as you can see, there's my level up bar right there. I'm a little more than halfway up to leveling to level one. So it doesn't look like I can, uh, yeah, put any other upgrades on my person, my robot person. Most likely, I can't really do everything. I think only uh, a couple of abilities are available for the demo, but yeah, I don't know really yet. Now, I wonder if I should use a different class for this match or if I should stick with it. Stick with the, uh, the Infiltrator. Hmm. Yeah, I think I will. Let's try again. Let's do a little better. Oh, look at that. I can scroll down and I can view all the profiles of these people. Interesting. Not a lot of time to do that, though, right here. Only got, like, several seconds. Oh, here's the countdown. A little more time than, uh, than I would think. All right. Team Deathmatch. Eliminate the enemy team. Okay, Team Deathmatch again. I am Bumblebee, You're kind of again. You know, it's not really a, a, a set character. Like I said, these things can be customized. ooh -ah! Nice jump. Oh, who's that? I'm cloaking. Let's see if I can help this guy out. My teammate. Give him some help. Nice. Looks like I finished him off. Good stuff. Kind of view the stats there as you so please. Oh, I saw that auto cannon there. Well, this guy is jumping out of the way. Look at this guy. Oh, he he vanished. He got out of there. Oh, what about this one? Come on, come on. Ooh, what were those pluses? Pluses coming out of this body. Ah, you know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking he picked up an upgrade somewhere on the battlefield. Where and what exactly? Well, I want to know. <laughs> I do want to know. I want to know more about these upgrades. 
I'm gonna have to learn the spots where I can obtain them. I think I saw some uh, ammo clips, but that's pretty much it. I don't think I've seen any weapon or health or ability type upgrades. Let's see if I can get this guy. Come here! I'm gonna punch you! Oh, he's dead. Oh, well. I'm blinking red. There goes my life. It's recharging back up. My ammo's fine right now, as you can see. Oh, yep, yeah, there's that ammo. Hmm. Oh! Hmm, was that our first lag of the game? I'm not sure. Things seem to get a little weird there. Just for a split second. I don't know if it was me. Thought something happened. Anyway, punch this guy! Punch him in the face! I gotta get used to some of these enemies moving around the way they do. It's a tad different. I will say the feel of the game, for those of you who are very familiar with, you know, War for Cybertron, of course, the feel, it's it's similar, but it's different, you know? It's, it's a different game, so it has a different feel to it. And that's just how it goes, you know, when they make new games. Where they make sequels to games that we've played over and over again. Not a huge learning curve for those of us who played War for Cybertron, but a minor one. But I am willing to learn it. That looks like a weapon box. Huh. Very familiar looking. Couldn't open it though. I don't know if it's for decoration or what. Oh. Oh, look at that big Autobot logo right there. I've just been enjoying myself running around, basically, so far. I've gotten into the action a couple times, but ugh, I need to get into the action. Here we go! Mm. Come on! Get close to me. I want to punch you. Shoot him! Oh! Dancing around a lot. Oh, I'm down. Oh, there's an assist. 25 points for an assist. Okay. As far as the demo color scheme goes, you know, I think they set it up so it would be comfortable to us, the player, that we could easily identify, you know, the opposition or your teammates. But that's something I'm pretty sure you can play around with. Oh, I think that's an Energon Cube! <laughs> oh, never mind. Yeah, I think there was an Energon Cube to my right there. And I picked that up, I've been okay. Alright. We gotta do some more damage here. Cruising around, cloaked as a car. Oh, we're off. Here we go, here we go. Let's stalk this guy. Are we gonna stalk him? Oh, in his face. He's jumping. Everyone has the dash ability now, don't they? Oh, this guy's running away. He is literally running. Well, you know what? I can run too. That's right, folks. If you hold down the L2 button, you can actually run and charge at your enemy. Haha. <laughs> It's just not a simple dash no more. Oh, and this guy is trying to elude me. I don't think he even knows I'm behind him. Come on, he knows now. Oh, Buka! And he is down for the count. Oh, here we go. This guy, he's on my case too. I need a little time to replenish my health. Oh, he's putting up a shield. Look at that. That looks pretty nice. Similar ability in War for Cybertron. Oh, I'm, I'm down. It looks kind of cool in this one. Similar, but different. <laughs> I like that. That was, uh, that was a good stock. There's nothing like a good stock as the infiltrator <clears throat> scout class. Whoa. Hey, buddy. All right. We are going to... Oh, here we go. This guy. Almost missed him. Oh, no, no. Not the whirlwind. Oh, yes. That's right. They did bring... They did indeed bring the whirlwind ability back. I think he's in trouble. He might be hurt. Oh, turn around. Sometimes it's a little hard to run and turn at the same time. I'm not sure if you're really meant to, actually. Anyway, he got away from me and I got an assist. Now I need to get away. What's this? What's this? Hold to pick up Energon Recharger. Hmm. I think I picked it up. Is that ammo? Yeah. I am down in the reddish red there. I'd like to try and get another kill in, or another fight in at least, before this match is about to end. It's a close one too, by the way. 
It's a close match. Come on, let's get a kill. There we go. There's a kill. Come on. Oh, did I get another? Yes, I did. Nice. And just like in the first game, you know, they give you pop-up messages. They show you what you did or what has happened to you, and it's always a lot of fun. <laughs> this guy's trying to shoot out the window. Never been a big fan of hiding behind, you know, some window or door from far away, shooting at great distances. Oh, looks like we lost the match, but that's okay. I had a lot of fun. Four kills, three assists, and six deaths. Not bad for eh, pretty much my first full-on match. Had a lot of fun. That wasn't that bad. <laughs> Look at Megatron. I'm going to blast that smile off his faceplate, says Cliff Jumper. It'll be great to get into the campaign later and check out the uh, different characters, ones who were not previously in the first game. Okay, here we go. Team Deathmatch again. Of course, I'm going to stick with it. And uh, I'm going to choose a different class this time. I think I'm going to go Scientist. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Good old Scientist. But first, let's see if I can put anything on this guy real quick. I'm at level 1, but I don't think level 1's going to cut it. I think I'm going to have to level up a little more to do anything. In use 8 demo. Hmm. We'll see. You know, I will... I'll definitely upgrade. I'll get my characters, all of them, to the max and see what we can do. And then I'll show you guys. I will show you. Are we ready? Your robot ability has a cooldown time after use. Hmm. Alright, so yeah. I indeed am going to pick the scientist. This will be a lot of fun. I have the most experience with the scientist and scout from War for Cybertron. So I'm just most comfortable with these two classes. And let's go, baby. Oh, it feels good to fly. Here we go. Ooh. The controls are good, but, you know, definitely going to have to get used to the feel. It's a slightly different feel, I will say. I'm trying to do a barrel roll, I must tell you, and I can't do it. I'm not sure if I if I can do a barrel roll or if I just haven't figured it out. Oh, someone was after me. I think someone was trying to target me there. Hmm. <laughs> Checking out my guns here. Oh, kind of cool. like the transform, that's nice. Oh, alright. You know, it's great to be able to fly around here and check out the scenes, really. Let's get into this action. Oh, helped out a little. The assist. I feel like I'm showing up to a lot of these fights too late. Unlucky. Let's see, no one's hiding around here, it looks like. Oh, that's too bad. Ammo. There, there's a cube right there. Whoa, excuse me. Oh, here we go. Come on, baby. Oh, oh, another assist. Let's get this guy if I can. Oh, that guy got me. I didn't even know there was two of them there at first. Oh, well. Got my assault rifle loaded up here. Oh, look at the sky. That looks nice. The graphics, I will say, uh... Updated, you know, definitely better than what War for Cybertron has offered us. Got to give kudos to High Moon Studios and Activision. You know, and High Moon Studios put a lot of love into this game, and they know their fans. They know people like me and what we want. Oh, someone's after me. Someone's locked on. Oh, man, this guy is chasing. Hey, hey come on, man. Let's do it. Let's duke it out. Oh, come on. Get oh. I think I almost had him. Oh. <laughs> He was targeted on me. Hmm. I think I want to try and lock on someone myself then. Maybe I'll find that guy myself. Let's see here. I need to locate an enemy. That's what we gotta do. Oh, no. Learning curve. Hmm. Oh. Oh, here we go. Is that the same guy? I don't know, but I'm after him. Let's go. He's running from me. Get him. Oh, nice. Finished him off. He must have been a little weak from his previous battle. And that's something definitely all of us are going to have to learn, you know? We can get into a battle. 
uh, and maybe we'll win it and we'll take them out. But then we have to worry about our life, our remaining life, as we can get picked off by someone else. Assist? Who was there to help me? I don't even see him. Oh, let's get this guy. I'm not sure I've even used Starscream's special ability there, the R2 button. I'm not sure what it does yet, to be quite honest. I picked up some health. I picked up an ammo there. It could have something to do with health, though. The little logo kind of indicates as much. Oh, this guy isn't paying attention. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Don't run away. Come on. I need to finish you. Oh, another assist. Oh, I should have got that cube. Get it. Don't die. Woof. There we go. That was close. Hmm. Let's poke our heads out. No one to shoot at. Let's see. Let's go look for someone. <laughs> I like the sound effects. They're real nice. Great sound effects. Looks like no one's hiding in the corners. All the action is being done in the main parts. I will say, this map is pretty cool, though. There's a lot of parts to it, you know what I mean? There's the center area, it's kind of out in the open, and then around the center is just this, like, kind of compartment after compartment of hiding spaces. It's not bad. Oh! There was two of them. Unwise to take them both on. I was just hoping to get that one guy. Oh. Alright, let's do it. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, someone got him. Maybe that guy. Let's transform, baby! What's going on over here? Someone was after me. This guy! Nice! Backhanded, and he is kaput. <laughs> I can't believe I'm finally playing this game, by the way, guys. I've been waiting so long. We all have, and here we go. And for those of you who have not obtained your copy of the demo today and have to wait a couple days till Tuesday, well, I am sorry, but hey, just know this, you can at least watch some nice gameplay. I'm going to be recording parts of the multiplayer. I will be checking out the campaign, and I will be live streaming this on my YouTube channel page. A lot, hopefully, too. As much as I can. So I'll be playing this game, oh, well, pretty much 24-7. Come on, he doesn't see me. Oh! Oh, well, I got him anyway. Good stuff. Ugh, I missed that double jump. Ah, why no double jump? Come on, I just want to sneak up on someone. Someone who just happens to be in here. <laughs> Look at him run. Yes, all classes can run. I jump off there. Here we go. Oh, there we go, and I leveled up! Leveled up to one! Doing some levelage here in this part. I like it. I must say, I'm digging the jet, you know? I'm just starting out. I got a lot to learn still, of course, but this is a lot of fun. Scientist, Scout, they were my favorite classes in the first game, and I'll probably say that again. Oh, my legs! Guy sliced me in half! Oh, my! Was that supposed to happen? Ouch! That was comical. Looks like there's only a couple of kills left. Hopefully I can get one more in. Maybe I can get the last one. And I did. I'm a hero. I'm a Decepticon hero, folks. <laughs> All right. Five kills, six assists, and four deaths. Not bad. I enjoyed it. And hopefully I can get more practice in and I can become better. Maybe I need to unlock some of those upgrades and that'll do it. Good stuff. That was a lot of fun. That is only two of the classes showed so far, folks. Up oh, there's Array once again. Here's my classes. Destroyer and Titan. I still haven't checked those two out, but I believe in the next video I will show you those two. Maybe we'll do some more Team Deathmatch. Maybe we'll move on to Conquest. Conquest uh, being one of my personal favorites. I love Conquest. It's so great.
Once again, real quick, just looking here. Don't think I can apply anything. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. I am Dave the Usher for the Game Replay. Stay tuned for the next part of Transformers Fall of Cybertron. I will see you guys next time. I am out.